And I'll just go through these in that same order. So the first one we have is Ruins, and this one is a card shedding game where the first person to get rid of all their cards is going to be the one to win the game. And something that is unique about this game, which maybe isn't such a surprise since this is designed by John D. Clare, is that this one does use card crafting where you're going to be layering transparent cards over each other within a sleeve in order to upgrade and customize your cards. The game plays over a series of turns where on your turn you're going to be able to upgrade one of your cards and then play that card. These upgrades can stack significantly creating some very powerful cards. It also says here that you'll be able to claim one card the entire game which I think means that you're going to have a limited amount of times that you'll be able to upgrade cards before you end up shedding them or getting rid of them but there will be one card that you'll be able to continually upgrade and rely on and make a lot more powerful than any of the other cards that you might have in your hand. But the player that's able to get rid of all their cards first wins the game. Also offered in this campaign we have Oddland which is a competitive game where players are going to be documenting fantastical creatures on an island and there's going to be a bunch of different creatures out on display which is going to dictate the different ways that you can score victory points in this game and these are all shared by all the different players. The way the game works is that each player has a hand of terrain cards that's going to feature four squares of different types of terrain. And on your turn, you'll be able to put one of those cards into play, either putting it adjacent to the existing tiles or even covering a portion of them. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one of your tokens onto the card that you just played, trying to position it in order to score as much victory points as possible. These tokens are going to be scoring based on their surroundings, looking at the different terrain around them or maybe what's in their row or column or even where other tokens are positioned around them. At the end of your turn, you're going to be drawing a new map tile into your hand to replace the one that you just played. And then the game continues like this until each player has spent all of their tokens. And then at that point, you're going to be adding up all the victory points and the player with the most wins the game. And the next game offered here is called Vegas Strip. And unfortunately, I don't have a picture of the components for this one. But this one is a bluffing game where players are going to be taking turns playing money tokens out to different casinos out in the main play area but players are not allowed to put more than two tiles on a single casino. Once all the tiles have been placed, they're then all going to be revealed, and then you're going to be going through each of the casinos, and whoever played the most amount of money at that casino actually loses all of their bet, whereas all the other players are going to be getting points equal to the amount that they put there. But the catch here is that some of the casinos are actually corrupt, and whoever plays the most at those casinos is going to be getting 10 points, whereas everyone else there is going to be getting nothing. Every player starts the game knowing where one of these corrupt casinos are, but you're going to have to try to deduce where you think the other ones are based on how many tokens the other players are putting there. The game also offers 20 unique casino power cards, which is going to add variety from game to game depending on which ones show up, but players will be able to take advantage of those and work them into their strategy in order to try and win the game. And the last game offered in this campaign is one that I do have more information on because this one is actually a refreshed Reiner Knizia game called Money. And this one is also a competitive game where there's going to be different amounts of money of different currencies. And players are going to be starting with some money plus a bluff card. At the start of the game, there's going to be two stacks of money randomly dealt. And then players are going to be simultaneously bidding for those stacks playing their cards face down in front of them, and then simultaneously revealing. And this is where this game becomes really, really cool because the player that played the highest bid gets first dibs on exchanging their cards with any of the groups of cards out on the table. This means that they could exchange them for any of these two stacks that were put out on display, but they could also choose to trade them with any of the other players if those players happen to play cards that that player really, really wants. This is why it's really nice to go first, because you're going to have a lot more options than the other players. But the round continues like this, going through each player in decreasing order of their bid, with each of them swapping their cards with any of the cards still out on the table. And what players are trying to do here is to collect money of the same currency, because you're going to be scoring each of the different currencies individually. In order to even get any points, you need to have at least $100 of that currency, and then any amount of dollars after that 100, you'll be able to score as victory points at the end of the game, unless you're able to get over $200 in a currency, and in that case, you get points from all your cards. If you're able to get three of a kind, which means three cards of the same value and of the same currency, that's also going to grant you a bonus. And then there are also some coin cards that are just worth a flat 10 points for each one that you're able to collect. 
but the game continues like this until that main deck runs out, and then the player with the most points at that point in the game wins the game, and if you do want to check these out, I will have them linked in the description down below.